Hello everyone. Today I'm going to give you a review of the different ways of using a callable object. I have a class A and A has a member function f which takes an integer and a char as parameter and another function g takes a double and operate parent which indicates that A is also a functor. In the main function I create an object of A. As we have discussed before, there are two ways to launch a child thread. One is using a thread object, another one is using the async function. And both the thread constructor and the async function have similar function signature. They take a callable object followed by a variable number of arguments. There's another function that also has a similar signature which is bind function. Also take a callable object followed by arguments. And there's another one call once which takes a once flag and then callable object arguments. So as you see this kind of usage of using a callable object followed by a variable number of arguments is quite popular in standard library. So today I'm going to give you a review of how this can be used in different ways. Let's use the thread as an example. So this first line of code is creating a copy of A and then invoke it as a functor in a different thread. And if I don't want to make a copy, since I already have an A, I want to use the same A to create a different thread. Then I can create a reference wrapper of A and pass it over to the child thread. This will simply launch A as a functor in a different thread. I can also create an A in the fly. This will create a temporary A and then temporary A is moved into the thread object and then create a thread. So this callable object doesn't have to be functor, it can be regular function and it can also be a, a lambda function. So for example thread t4 it takes a lambda function which takes an integer x and return x times of x. This is a lambda function that takes an integer parameter so we can pass a 6 to it. And to make things complete let's define a, a function foo integer x Then we can create a thread t5, which takes foo and 7 as parameters. We can also create a thread with the member functions. To do that, thread t6, ampersand a, f, a, 8, Let's say uh, W. So this is again making a copy of A and then invoke A's F function, like A and W as parameter in a different thread. If I don't want to make a copy of A, I can also pass over A's address. So this will simply invoke A.F with the parameter of 8 and W. And make it 7. There's another use case. If I don't want to make a copy of A and I don't want to pass A as a reference either, then I can use move function to move A from the current thread to the child thread. 
let's call it 8. And you need to be very careful that A is no longer usable in main thread or in the parent thread. So these are the different ways of using a callable object. And as I said, you can use them for bind function and uh, async function and uh, call once function. This is not a complete list, but you get the idea. That's all for today. Feel free to check out the other videos I have, and see you next time.